I'm gonna show you that anything's possible. I'm gonna fucking do this shit and you better fucking do your shit, okay? You better do what the fuck you need to do in your life that you wanna accomplish. Every fucking thing you need to accomplish in your life, do it one step at a time, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. Road to one million subscribers, Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics here and uh, we're fucking out, motherfuckers. Yo, I don't know if I told you this, but I got a comment today on um, my channel. And this guy was like, yo, your shit sucks. You're trying to be like a fitness influencer and you look like shit, this and this and that. <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry to tell you, buddy. And I said to him, I'm like, you know, man, not everybody's shredded all year around. Like, I, I don't know what fucking like, it, this is the problem, bro. Like people get so fucking misled in the industry and they think like, oh my God, like you have to be shredded all year around if you want to do this. Like. That's not fucking realistic. I'm not out here photoshopping my pictures. I'm not out here like taking the juice, okay? So I'm gonna be what I'm gonna be, you know? I don't know if you guys ever seen those TikToks where they're like, if your girl going to Miami, she ain't safe. She's not yours. She's not yours. That's dead ass true. Like, I'm not the type to do shit like that, like knowing you're taking or whatever, but I mean, look at my videos, bro. And then like the girl's boyfriend being your DM. Yo, boy, crying my girlfriend, bro. I'm coming to Miami, bro. I'm coming. I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you up. Yo, you know what? Speaking of that, like, every time I do interviews, especially, there's so many motherfuckers that just come up to me and that, like, you guys haven't even seen it all. You think you've seen it all with the fucking, the douchebag and Oh, I said the, I said the college. Oh, shit. I gotta bleep it. I gotta bleep that out. I gotta bleep that out. But you think, uh, like I was saying, you think that was it with the fucking, the, the kid at the college or the fucking guy that was in Brickle the last time? Or when me and you went the time before when I did that video, the size matter, that fucking guy, we didn't get him on camera. But that guy, bro, there's been so many instances where people just like start fucking saying bullshit to me, bro. And I'm like, why? Like, what do people get out of that? And then I took a second to think about it. I'm like, I know this sounds really egotistical, but I genuinely think the reason is, is because for some fucking reason, I, I don't know why, they feel like, Oh, this guy gets bitches or oh my god bro he, he looks cool and i'm not uh and i'm not saying i am whatsoever i am not fucking saying that but i'm saying like that's the only thing that i could reasonably just think of that's like okay that kind of makes sense i guess you know that motherfuckers may be insecure as fuck but i don't know bro every time from this point on that happens there's gonna be a 90 plus percent chance that i'm going to embarrass that person and i'm gonna put them on the spot two times harder than they put me on the spot because at this point bro like People just need a taste of their own medicine, man. You know, people take my kindness for weakness. And the same shit was like in school, bro. Like people would see that I work out. And, I mean, I wasn't even that big, bro. I mean, I guess I was like bigger than the average person because, you know, I you worked said out. You were in school? Yeah, yeah and I, in, in crop. A lot of people try me, bro. Even the people in the football team. I don't know if you know that, but. Oh, yeah, I know. Bro, like people always fucking tried me, bro. And I noticed the first thing they would do, especially in school, they would look at me up and down. They'd be like, and then they would just say some like shit, bro. Like, oh, I'm bigger than you. I can bench more than you. Oh, I can do this more than you. You know, so fast forwarding to right now, bro. I'm just like, you know what? This is just a projection off their own insecurity, bro. Like that ass. Like they're just fucking insecure as fuck for whatever reason. And they're just projecting that shit. And it's so obvious, bro. For anybody who does want to know, you look like you're doing this and it's so easy to film videos and shit. Like, I mean, like, how do you do it? You know, like, how do you stay consistent? How do I have people? I don't have people. I've gotten this a lot. I don't, I don't have people to help me record. Like, what do I do? You think I've had fucking people to help me record? Guys, there's been times where, yeah, granted, like, I filmed in the past my commentary videos for the most part, and I do that every now and then on this channel still, but there's been times where I would go out in public, and when I would do interviews, I would fucking grab a tripod. I don't do that shit anymore, because literally, that shit would take, like, four plus hours to finish, when I could just have somebody help me, and I could finish that fucking same video in, like, 40 minutes, bro, so... 
it's a big difference. Just the only difference is that one person's helping me and one person's not. You have to kind of look at it how you gotta look at YouTube. People are not gonna subscribe to me and watch my videos if I don't present value. Like, if you guys are watching me and you're not enjoying it, you're not getting any information from it, or you're not being, like, I'm not being relatable to you guys whatsoever. If, if any of those three factors are not in the fucking video, right? And I'm not saying every single one has to be in it, but if not one at least is in there, nobody's gonna fucking watch because nobody gives a fuck because everybody goes on the internet, watches movies, shows, YouTube videos, fucking Hulu Plus or Netflix, whatever the fuck you want to say, because they get value provided back to them, whether that could be entertainment, fucking being informed on some bullshit. It just fucking depends, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that I had to think, all right, what the fuck do I do? You know what I'm saying? If I go out to film with a YouTuber, we trade, you know? I help him film his video, he helps me film mine. That's kind of getting something in return for him and for me, right? If I have, for example, Justin, which he does not make fucking YouTube videos, I gotta be like, huh, what the fuck can I do? I'm a broke piece of shit. <laughs> oh, I just spit a fucking brown... <laughs> I'm not rich, right? I mean, I do have some expensive camera equipment, but the moment this shit breaks, I'm fucked. Not really. I mean, I have some money to, that's saved up to... Whatever. The point is, is that I said, okay, fuck, I can't pay him by the hour, but... I could pay him by the Chipotle. <laughs> so, we got, yeah, exactly. So we have to do that for a little bit. And thanks to him, initially when I started this like fucking shit, this content, I didn't actually give, give me shit. <laughs> I was gonna say it just like that. I didn't give him shit because I couldn't give him shit. I couldn't even give myself shit. I was losing every fucking time I would film. So that just shows you that we're fucking, we're getting up there. You know what I'm saying? But thanks to Justin, he helped me out initially. When I had jack shit, I just had a camera in my channel and I would fucking go out and he would help me film every now and then. And then it got to a point where I'm like, okay, I could like buy him food every time. Then there's gonna be a point where I, you know, I could be like, all right, maybe I could pay him a little bit and then buy him some food on top of that, then pay him a little bit more. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a gradual increase. I don't think you guys understand how many fucking people I've had go through like cameramen, bro. Like, <laughs> you don't even know either. I haven't mentioned this in any other video, but after Justin, especially like, I met a couple of YouTubers, okay? And I honestly, I think a big part of that, which a lot of people are gonna be confused as fuck as to how that makes sense. A big part of that, of why I met these people and how I met them, I, I'd say I gotta give a lot of gratitude to God because honestly, I was to a point, bro, Justin, I'm not even gonna cap. I fucking would pray every night, bro. I swear to God, I would literally be like, it helped me just run into some YouTubers in person that I could collab with, that I could make videos with, that could understand me, that could help me, that I could help them, whatever, right? Next thing you know, two, three-ish months later, I fucking ran into a couple, like, dude, a handful, bro. It, like, within all in the same month, too, like, very fucking fast. So, that just goes to show you that God could do wonders, you know what I'm saying? That, listen, that ain't no fucking coincidence, all right? I'm just gonna preach it there, you know? Uh, I don't know anybody's beliefs, if you believe in God, if you don't, if you fucking whatever the fuck. Honestly, I know that sounds goofy as hell and a lot of people won't understand that, but I genuinely think that it will help you guys if you actually take the time out of your day, whatever fucking time you want to, and just talk to him. Just talk to him. Thank him for having a new day, being alive, being able to breathe, all this shit, and then be like, you know, I genuinely would love some assistance from you in this part of my life, whatever the fuck it may be, right? My part was, oh God, please, you know, I need help like with my channel. I asked for guidance to help me with this, help me blow up faster, you know what I'm saying? Get my uh, video one day to pop up to the right person. That person watches it, he watches all the way through. He really loves it. Next person watches it, next person, next person. It just is like a train of people that just fucking absolutely love my channel. And also being surrounded around good people that could help me and build me up and I can help build them up as well. That's basically kind of what I say every day, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this fucking video. Once again, it's your boy, Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics. And remember, really quickly before we leave, I'm gonna pop up my subscription on my count of subscribers of how many fucking subs I have. This is how many subs I have. I just wanna show you guys really quickly before we reach 1 million subscribers, whenever the fuck that is, because I'm gonna show you if you were here already past when I'm fucking already reached that goal or whatever, or even if I'm currently in the goal of trying to, you know, fucking do that shit. I'm gonna show you that anything's possible. I'm gonna fucking do this shit and you better fucking do your shit, okay? You better do what the fuck you need to do in your life that you wanna accomplish. Every fucking thing you need to accomplish in your life, do it one step at a time, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. Road to 1 million subscribers. Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics here and uh, we're fucking out, motherfuckers. See ya.